as a next step i'd like to create more value difference in here because that is only kind of golden color underlay nothing else now i would like to make more orangey uh, brownish color for the skin but still very very watery again a bigger brush i have this mix there but oh no, not the red orange something like this let's see is this good no more orange mm -hmm. that perhaps not green one no more orange it will look more orange like that very very watery yeah something like this now starting from the this one here Not forgetting about the area that contains the um, uh, highlight. softening the edge maximum to create that sort of appearance now, same with the other one As you can see that brush helps me uh, a lot with the covering large areas and as well as the fine lines and I need to work on the sharp edges sharp uh, edges details at this stage I uh, also would like to create a little bit um, um, uh, here grayish area there yep. 
just initial core spot. So, okay. Now, um, this is dry, absolutely bone dry. And my next step will be um, creating this uh, texture, all this stripy texture here. And I believe from this point on, I will be using only this brush. Uh, the uh, this uh, stiff one because the, the, there will be loads of small strokes mostly and uh, my point is uh, to create the separation of darker areas and the bright these lines uh, once it's established whatever happens over when I will be adding more glazing to increase the values maybe in the shadows that texture will remain intact whatever i do how many doesn't matter how many layers i will apply over that always will be seen so that is my point at the moment i would like to make this visible and uh, from this point again uh, i will be using only uh, this mix here orange and uh, blue with the uh, slight variations because uh, if we think about the, what happens with the color uh, within the object uh, it goes through the loads of different uh, transformation it gets colder in some places it gets warmer again uh, darker brighter so uh, i will be playing with this mix that uh, orange plus blue will be kind of the core and I will be adding different uh, colors into this mix to create that uh, variety of different shades within the object. I will be adding red to make it more warm. Uh, sometimes maybe I will add a little bit of um, maybe green. We will see how it goes, but we will play with this. Okay. So uh, before I start, I might use my pencil, mechanical pencil, to give me some sort of like you know directions uh, for so that you know these lines look more natural. The, the, all the strokes will not be seen. So, but just in case that. I will not mess it up. I'm gonna create some sort of reference lines for myself. In here. Because sometimes it's very easy to lose sense of direction here. Especially when you talking well, during the process I know you can understand that sometimes if you wish you can use pencil to uh, distinguish some dark areas like so you know it's okay it's just a tip all right then. So we will see how it goes. Now um, about the mix, this mix um, it just dried out while I was waiting for this to dry. I don't want to create anything. I will be using exactly the same. Uh, what happens here? If I will be using that exactly color over uh, the qualities of um, watercolor paint uh, works this way. Uh, if you use same exactly the same color over one layer, uh, it um, increases the darkness of the place like twice. So 
if I use exactly the same paint here, so you can see what happens, it gets darker. And this is what I will do now. I will create these texture. So basically, I'm leaving the gaps between these stripes. Make them tiny. Now, uh, I've noticed now that um, 
if you compare this onion and that onion uh, those stripy texture in here it's like a it looks like dark white dark stripes and tiny uh, bright lines and here other way around so I need to uh, adjust this accordingly so from this moment what I'm gonna do I will be glazing doing glazing layer by layer bit by bit uh, increasing the um, values and you know getting this stuff um, more realistic looking so I will revive this and I will show you the way of doing things now I need something a little bit colder by adding blue in here okay then I need something a little bit warmer more orange this way mm. and a something yeah. yeah that will be fine maybe just a little bit like this so at this moment I have uh, four different variations so this is like the main color a little bit warmer even more warmer and colder so I will be playing with them I will start to work around the highlight with the color that I um, used initially and this is the way it will be working I will be applying various strokes like so they all will be going that direction to um, help me um, to recreate this texture preferably I need to make them as separate as possible I will explain in a second what I'm trying to achieve so say this strokes or stains are dry and see what happens if I use another layer of stains say over this place it creates an areas of different density and this is exactly what I'm looking for and I will be uh, employing this quality to create this interesting texture on the onion don't need this like that so. If you noticed as I promised all this initially created texture remains intact so whatever I do doesn't change the appearance of it
basically from this point on it's just a slow building up layer by layer creating all these intersections and that's basically it Sienna. Just a tiny drop of 
golden. I like that. Okay, so um, at this stage, it all looks really rough, but that is the way it's supposed to look. So don't worry about this. Couple of things and we will leave it to dry again. I don't want I don't want to use um, heat on it and I would like to have it dry naturally. So to let paint flow. And then as a next step we will do more and more details on it. Okay. My next step is to establish some uh, darker areas and maybe to uh, specify some interesting things that um, happens here. I'm talking about maybe this wrinkles folds here shadow there that brings up that edge and also as we can see this uh, broken scheme uh, I would like to establish that edge all the way along and start to develop shadows more to bring the uh, contrast up so still working with that um, brush I actually changed my mind maybe for um, some stage I will take a little bit um, a bit smaller brush 